two on your side tracking an E. coli outbreak and whether it's safe for you to eat sprouts from a North Idaho farm. We've now learned the FDA found what it's calling objectionable conditions at Evergreen Fresh Sprouts in Moya Springs. This after Evergreen was implicated as a potential source of an E. coli outbreak, 17 people were sickened in five states. Country's Taylor Vito has been following this story. Bring us an update now as to why health experts say the farm isn't yet clear in this case. Well, Randy, like you said, all the tests that have been done on the particular type of sprouts that these people ate have come back negative so far. However, health experts like the ones here at the Spokane Regional Health District say there are too many other factors pointing the finger at Evergreen. It'd be careless of us if we only um, relied on the results that come back from the FDA of the specific product. In fact, the folks at the Spokane Regional Health District say they're not surprised that those results on clover sprouts came back negative. They say that's because FDA investigators were at Evergreen Fresh Sprouts weeks after the breakout happened. What they say is more telling is the fact that all the people who became sick with E. coli all reported eating clover sprouts that were traced back to Evergreen. We don't usually have such a, a, a good association between a particular product and not only a particular product but a product that was produced in one plant. They say that's also backed up by the fact that the particular strain of E. coli in this case is very rare and was found in all of these patients. So this is very specific testing that says these are the same organism so that's almost, making these people so sick. Like David Scharf, Evergreen's owner, has said that the negative results show that his product is safe. However, that was before the FDA announced its findings of what they're calling objectionable conditions at the farm. Investigators noticed other types of sprouts being treated with water from rusty valves, employees using scratched and chipped tennis rackets to scoop some sprouts, and an employee using a corroded pitchfork. The FDA will eventually issue a final report with their complete findings. While Scharf has said that his sprouts didn't make people sick, local health experts aren't necessarily buying it. Then, then how did they get sick? What, what is the other commonality? Um, and I really do feel like the, the scientists and experts that we've been working with um, did rule out everything. So I, I don't know what's left. Now, as for now, the Spokane Regional Health District and others are advising people still to not eat clover sprouts from Evergreen. Despite the FDA's new findings at the farm, there currently aren't any new illnesses linked to those other types of sprouts. Now, in regards to those new accusations from the FDA, we have reached out to the owner of Evergreen. At this hour, he has not returned our calls. Reporting live this evening, Taylor Vito. M2 News. Wet weather is moving in across our area along with some thunderstorms here and there. Tom Cherry is tracking all that, Tom. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the 